Yeah. Oh my gosh, have I? <laughs> yes, love Eminem. Yeah, I actually just barely listened to a little bit of it last night. Uh, it's not his best, so I actually, I did live in Michigan. I lived on the very end of 8 Mile, so I feel very connected to Eminem. And I've, it's not terrible, but it's not his best. Um, I don't feel like it's as good as his older stuff, but I do think it's better than the last album he put out. Um, I think that it is a giant diss track, <laughs> so he's calling out all the haters right now. Him going after uh, and Machine Gun Kelly um, and how he was talking about like Eminem's daughter or whatever. It's nice to hear about all the people getting dissed. <laughs> <laughs> I think he has some respect. Respect is needed for every person in society, whether you're young, old, rich or poor. Respect. So. I think it was really creative. Like I can tell he used like some of rappers like go-to beats and like rap styles to, to attack them. I, I like the song Good Guy. Like it's, I think it's the second to last song. Um, my favorite part is probably the energy that it has. It's really upbeat and kind of like invigorating because it's kind of like the old Eminem. It feels classic. If he came back strong because he hasn't released um, that much music in a long time. It's it's ambitious to say the least. You know. He just sings his heart out, and I appreciate that. Every time, he just gives it his all. Alrighty, and I'm Grace Schneider, and this is Marquette Arts and Entertainment.